what's up YouTube just in case here with another video for the white door dev channel and in this video I'm going to be doing an overview of the white door OS 5 beta 3 developer preview um, a few things to go over before we continue remember that this is a beta there are several bugs and glitches that need to be worked out and they will be worked out before the final release is released to the public um, so let's begin. The first thing I'd like to talk about is Reminders, which has made significant improvements. This one is, I think, Reminders Beta 4. Goldmaster Edition should be included in the final release or the final edition. I'm not sure which, but um, it probably won't be this version. Um, most of the functions are uh, functional, I guess would be the word. And... Um, yeah, this is a pretty functional version of Salt Mule and Fink Max reminders. Uh, the next thing is the White Door app. We will probably change this to say iPod, depending on which one you download, the iPod version or the iPhone version. I'm sure we'll change that eventually. Um, the only glitch with this that I'm aware of right now is that if you go all the way through to camera and then hit enable to finish it, you get a white screen and the only way to get out of that is to hit the home button. Um, when the final version is released I'm sure that will be fixed and um, so that means that the only way to enable folders is to get them through Cydia which I will um, also show you how to do. Um, some other cool features are um, We've changed it to say search white door iPod. If you have an iPhone, it changes it to search white door iPhone. Um, go into settings, general, about. Um, it's not there, but in the white door uh, beta 3, we changed the system version to say um, 5.0. And. Um, so now we can go over what will not be coming to the White Door official firmware. The toggle switches in the settings will not be coming. Let me get that straight off right off the bat. Um, they will stay like this. And the reason for this, like we can't just replace them, is because of the way 3.1.3 reads the images. Um, we can't change them. They have to stay like this as of right now. And they probably won't change in the near future. Um, we also will not be including the actual newsstand um, application because we can't modify Darlow's folders and um, he's not developing for us anymore. Um, what we will probably have is just an application that um, has like a live Twitter feed once you open it and that'll be about it. And um, mobile notifier will probably not be included because we don't have a way to get the mobile notifier app working on 3.1.3 right now and it will lag your device and the brightness slash volume toggle will not be in multitasking what might be coming iMessage um, I know some of our feature devs have been working with incorporating some of that stuff into the message app that might be coming um, let me open up Cydia for right now so I can show you how to get the um, uh, folders and multitasking working. Um, wireless updates, we've been working with that. That might be coming as well. Uh, mobile YouTube uploading and a lock cam are other features that might be on their way. Lock cam should be as simple as creating a dev package and modifying some PLST files. Um, some changes the White Door app, the White Door iPhone in the search. Um, I'm not sure if the final version will have your system OS version. Um, terminal was pre-installed that's not really a change but some of the older versions did not have terminal pre-installed um, the iPod and video app are split and we have also removed the minimize button from from the um, multitasking bar so I'm going to wait for it to refresh my sources. I'll probably pause the video and come back depending on how long it takes. And then I will show you how to get um, 
I uh, the folders and multitasking working on the developer preview. All right, so I'm back and city is done refreshing the data. So what you're going to need to do to get the folders and multitasking working for the beta version is to add the white door repo. All you have to do is hit edit, add, and then type in http whitedoor.com slash repo and hit add. And then once you're done with that, just go into the white door repo and install these two packages. Um, once the final version is released, I am about 100% sure that you will not have to go through all of this to get your folders working. And, um, oh, I keep hitting Q, I was wondering what happened. So you hit install install the package and um, I'll come back once both of them are installed so now my folders are installed now I have to go back and install multitasking alright so I'm in back I installed both of them I respring my iPod and now I have iOS 3 multitasking um, so there's multitasking as you can see we removed the minimize button because a lot of people did not like that um, folders they open a lot quicker as you can see from there and um, if you ask me they're just about on par with the iOS 5 I mean, or iOS 4 folders themselves, and um, yeah, that's just about it. And also, one thing that wasn't there, I think you have to reboot or respring to get this iCloud, which is pretty much just an app designed around Dropbox. Um, you need a Dropbox account in order for this to work, but uh, it was a nice incorporation, and um, yeah. So thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe. If you didn't understand anything, all you need to do is create a thread on White Door or post a comment and we will get back to you.